Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Amen. Feliz Domingo por la mañana, Pastor San Patricio. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Anyway, we want to welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, all those of you joining us by audio and video. Prepare yourselves to see what God has for you. He always has something for us. Amen. Amen. But are we open? You know, He's knocking. Are we open? Are we willing to receive what He's got for us? You know? He always has something good for us. Amen. So be open and receive, be blessed, be encouraged, be changed, and be corrected. Amen. So once in a while, I say, well, <laughs> I'm perfect. No, you're not. He wants to correct us. Amen. And that's okay. He's our Heavenly Father with His children, so He can correct us anytime He wants to. He is not finished with you yet. He has great plans for you. None of them include defeat. All you have to do is make yourself available. Yes. Amen. He's looking for uh, availability, not ability. Amen. So right. you make yourself available and be open for whatever God has for you. Amen. And the Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So don't limit yourself and don't limit him. Amen. Because we try to do that all the time. We try to limit him. No, take the limits off, amen? amen, and know and step out in faith on a daily basis. I got a uh, nugget for you I want to share with you. You know, everyone is always looking for it. Well, before we do that, let's get into make this declaration together. Mm -hmm. Grab your Bibles, soldier of God, warrior of God. <coughs> grab your Bibles. Let's make this declaration together, amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking to the Word of God. I'm boldly confessed. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Man, that was, that was good. Yes. It's always good. Praise God. Thank you. So anyone, everyone is always looking for a word. So I have a word for you. <laughs> Here's your word. It is important to you to find the way. Amen. If you if you don't if you don't find an excuse first. Mm -hmm. So here's your word. No more excuses. Amen. No more uh, pretending. Yeah. No more playing church. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. And uh, total surrender. That's what we're going to be talking about. Continuing with I surrender all. Mm -hmm. So we need to totally surrender to Him. No more excuses. Amen. He's heard them all. So it's time for us to to, uh, to give it all up. Amen. And I've got three translation scriptures here for you. It says like this. John 14, 6 in the New King James. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now, it's very simple. Okay. We need to grab this. There's no other way there. You can't can right. buy your way. <laughs> You, you can't talk your way. You can't be so perfect. You know? No, there's only one way. you got to confess Him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And another one says, the Amplified says this. Jesus said to him, I am the only way to God and the real truth and the real life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Ooh, man, that is, that is great. Yes, amen. Now this one here, <laughs> the easy to read version says this. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The only way to the Father is through me. Yeah. So what does that tell me? I have to go through Him. I have to receive Him as my Lord and Savior. Amen. If you haven't, it's time. Today's your day. Amen. If you haven't, this is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice, be glad in it, and confess Him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes. There's no other way. You don't. Your choice is, you, if you want to go up, confess Him as your Lord and Savior. You want to go down, just hold on to it, you know, because He's not going to violate your will. If you choose not to say anything and just be lukewarm and be like the world, you're going to find your way going the wrong way. It's time we get to going to the right way and doing what He's called us to do. I told the church a few minutes ago, He doesn't qualify the call. He, quali he doesn't qualify, excuse me, He doesn't he doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies his call. Yes, amen. So you need to answer the call. And every one of us has a call in our lives. If right. nobody ever told you, that's a good word for you right there. Yeah. You have a call in your life. Yeah. You know, well, why, why, do you, why do you keep thinking it keeps popping up on you? Man, I feel like preaching. Man, I feel like doing this. Man, I feel like doing this. You know, something's telling me this. Well, the Spirit of God in you is just shaking yeah. you and wants to come out. 
Amen. But you gotta make that decision and receive him as your Lord and Savior. And then he's got assignments for you. He's got a call for you. He's anointed you, equipped you, and it's time for you to start to press it. Press it on. He didn't say back up, he says press on. Amen. Man, we can say amen and uh, go home. <laughs> amen. But we're going to continue with I surrender all. I guess you could say I surrender to all number two. I surrender all. Keep going, Carmen. To who? All to Jesus. I surrender all. Amen. So give it all to him. Praise God. Keep going. I don't want to give it all to you. But this is going to be our text. Let me read it to you. You can see the one that's up here is the King James. But uh, I may read it to you from the uh, Amplified. Matthew 16, chapter 16, verses 24 and 25. And the, and the Amplified says this. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone, that's you, erase the, just write a line through anyone, just put your name there, wishes to follow me as my disciple, he must deny himself, set aside selfish interests, and take up his cross, expressing a willing to endure whatever may come, and follow me, believing in me, conforming in me, excuse me conforming to my example in living and if need be suffering or perhaps dying because of faith in me Amen. and verse 25 says for whoever wishes to save his life in this world will eventually lose it through death but whoever loses his life in this world for my sake will find it this is life with me for eternity Amen. Amen. For eternity. So, man, that's a lot to chew on right there. But still, you know, it's got to be his way or the no no other way. His way. He's the way. Amen. And uh, we, we must do this. So we're just going to review a little bit of what we talked about last week. And then we're going to get into it. I think I gave you three things. And I think I only gave you one. But uh, we'll, we'll give you all three of them today. Jesus has great plans for you. Now you put your name there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't let the world, don't let nobody or anything or anyone disqualify you from what God qualified you. Right. We're looking yeah. for world uh, qualifications. He's already qualified us. Uh -huh. The world disqualifies you for everything. Yeah. You ain't no good for anything the world wants you to do. That's it. But you're qualified for God. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. qualified for Him. Yeah. He put you here, so it's time for us to hook up with Him. And get our marching orders. Amen. It says, Jesus has great plans for you, Jose. Mm -hmm. And a wonderful future for those who are totally, totally yeah. surrendered, submitted, and committed yeah. to him. Three attention getters right here. Yeah. Surrendered, submitted, and committed. And I'm going to give you a, a little bit of definition for each one of them. If you don't have them, write them down. We say surrender is to give up possession of or power uh number two says to yield to another we need to yield unto him amen he jesus yielded himself to his father and every time he needed the father he went right to the father uh -huh. when we need our help when we need jesus we can go right to him you know amen. he's we got an open door to go yeah amen we got an open door and he's a living god and the bible says he was taken into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father, mm -hmm. a place of authority. Yeah. And he said he's interceding for the saints, for us, yeah. believers. Okay, so he's not up there forgetting about you. He's also <laughs> sending the Holy Spirit. And says the Holy Spirit, the, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And he's with you. And he says he never leaves you, nor forsakes you. Yeah. So we need to know these things because when you know the truth, it's going to set you free from all these traditions, from all these other mindsets that people try to pass around right don't yeah. hold don't don't hold on to them you know it's time to let them go yeah. what's the word of god says give me scripture do you have scripture for me mm. no i don't you know but this is what our church teaches mm. well i need some scripture yeah. if not go somewhere else all right amen, amen. <laughs> go somewhere else <laughs> hallelujah and number three says to resign. You need to resign yourself. I told you this last week. We need to dethrone yourself and throne him. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> step off the throne. Yeah. And let him step and take the throne in your life. Yes. Amen. So yeah, 
Can't make it more simple than that. Right. You know, we just want to be in control mm. all the time. Mm. But he right. wants to be number one in our lives. Matthew wow. six thirty three says, you know, to submit ourselves to him and, and seek yeah. him first. Seek him first the kingdom of God. Yeah. And all his righteousness, all these other things yeah. shall be added on the year. So put him, keep your priorities in order on a daily basis. Yeah. Not just once in a while, but all the time. Yeah, yeah. Say, wait a minute, things are not going right today. What's what's going on? You know, I forgot to pray before I left home. Mm. I forgot to do put him first at, yeah. on the throne, you know. Keep him on the throne, you know. Dethrone yourself. Okay, that was just uh, a few for uh, surrender. Mm. Submit talks about surrender totally, giving in totally, and giving in completely to him. Mm. I mean, total surrender, you know. Not holding anything back. <laughs> <laughs> but giving it off, and you know, yeah. I, you know, you know, you know what you have to do. Yeah. Amen. And he knows you, and he knows when you're holding back. Mm -hmm. So you can't hide nothing from him. That's it. You got to give it all to him. Mm -hmm. And when you give it all to him, Bible says we can do all things through him. Mm -hmm. And he wants to bless you and not hold anything from yeah. you. But we got to be real because he knows you best. Mm. And he loves you the most. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he knows all your shortcomings. Oh, yeah. You know, all the shortcomings, all your failures that the world says you ain't good enough anymore. Mm. And then they kind of try to come to you and say, we know, well, the world don't want you and God don't want you. The world don't want you and Jesus can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. So wow. you know, over there just pouting. Mm -hmm. He said, well, nobody cares for me. So you go do stuff and think about doing yourself wrong. Mm -hmm. And that's not right. Find out what the word says. Yes. Because he says he never leaves us no forsaken. Yes, yes. He never gives up on you. God says, for God so loved the world, yeah. people, that he sacrificed his only begotten yes. son. Yes, yes, yes. If he was willing to do that, you need to know this. Mm -hmm. So then you'll go and hurt yourself or hurt anybody else. Right, amen. 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 No, Father, he loves me so much. Yeah. Look what he did for me. Amen. Amen. Man, I'm preaching to somebody. Yeah. If not, I'll preach to myself. <laughs> Submit. Surrender, give in totally, give in completely. And commit. Talking about being faithful, being dedicated, and being devoted to Him. Yeah. Amen. I guarantee you, when Jesus came, He was committed, He was submitted from the time He came to earth. Right. The whole time. Yeah. And sinless. Yes. And they still hated him and they still crucified him. Mm. Amen. And when he was on the cross, he told the Father, Before I come to see you, yeah. he says, Forgive him. Yeah. Right. Amen. And we go through some few little things and yeah. we'll, Man, I ain't never going to forgive you about that. <laughs> I ain't never going to forget that and I don't forgive you. And we hold that for ages. Mm -hmm. And it hurts us yeah. mentally, it hurts us physically. Yes. And we go through all kinds of changes. Yeah. But we ain't giving up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold this till the day I die. Well, guess what? You will. But one day you're going to have to stand before him yeah. and say, why didn't you give it to me? Right, right. My word says to cast all things on me. The word says to forgive and you're not forgiven. Mm -hmm. Look what they did to Jesus. Mm -hmm. We don't even go through what he went through. Okay. Not even a bit. Right. Not even a tiny bit. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me see what else you got. Keep going, turn. Take up your cross and follow him on a daily basis. Spend time with him before you step out into the world. Because mm -hmm. them giants are waiting for you. Yeah. The world is waiting for you. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. And if you're not ready, man, you're going to see a lot of people waving at you with, <laughs> with the finger there. You know? <laughs> and what are you going to do? <laughs> it's your attitude, you know? Yeah. You got to have the right attitude. Yes. And you got to have be in him. Otherwise, you're going to be in the world and in the flesh. And the flesh wants to get even. Yes, Amen. Yes. <laughs> so feed your, your, your spirit, man, and the Word of God. Renew your mind with the Word of God mm -hmm. and your flesh. you got to crucify. Because mm -hmm. the right. flesh wants to yes. kill, steal, yeah. and destroy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, so... so we're going to be talking about surrendering your surrendering all. Mm -hmm. Surrender means victory in Jesus. That's that's it. 
When you when you give it in, when you give it in and you put him on the throne, guess what? That means victory in Jesus. That means victory in my life. That means victory in him daily. Yes. On a daily basis. Amen. <laughs> let go and let God. Amen. Complete surrender. Complete trust. Complete faith. Mm -hmm. Total surrender. Total commitment. Amen. And the three areas we're talking about, and I'll give them to you right now, is the past. We're going to talk about the present mm -hmm. and the future. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Well, I'll, I'll, uh, we're going to do past, future, and then the present last. But anyway, I just gave you the scripture that we read a few minutes ago, Matthew 16, 24 through 27, that we read. Amen. Let me see. And then we have uh, this one here. It says, not that I know, this is Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. It says, not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on. Pressing on means getting on. Yeah. And going forward, not backwards. Amen. <laughs> to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Yeah. Brothers, sisters, I do not consider that I have made it my own. But one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind. Yeah. They're talking about your past. Yeah. And what do people, what the enemy brings against you all the time, mm -hmm. and people bring against you all the time, mm -hmm. your past. Yeah. I know you. I know your past. And they bring it on you oh, all, yeah. the time. all the time. Amen. So, and then it says, and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call yes. of God in Christ, in Christ Jesus. Jesus. He's calling us up. He yes, wants he us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He sacrificed his son, Praise and he God. wants us up there. And we need to make a choice. Do you want to be up there? Amen. Amen. But we're so busy trying to please the world and please men, we forget about Him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got to make this choice on the daily yeah. basis. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me see. I wrote it in the uh, in the easy to read version. It says this: I don't mean that I, I am exactly what God wants me to be. You're not. I'm not. <laughs> I have not reached that goal, but I continue trying to reach it. Mm -hmm. And make it mine. That's what Christ Jesus wants me to do. It is the reason he made me his. Brothers and sisters, I don't know that I still, I know I still have a long ways to go. But there is one thing I do. Forget what is in the past. Yes. And I try as hard as I can to reach the goal before me. Amen. I keep running hard towards the finish line mm -hmm. to get the price that is mine. Mm -hmm. Because God has called me through Christ Jesus to live up there in heaven yeah. with, with him. Mm -hmm. He's called us there. Yes. He's done everything and mm -hmm. paved the way for the, the freeway for us to take. Yeah. And we need that GPS, the Holy Spirit, yeah. to keep us in the right way. Yes. And we need to follow his yes. example. We need to follow him. He's done all this, but the enemy, the yeah. accuser of the brethren, yeah. he comes to steal, kill, yeah. and destroy. Yeah. He's going to use anything and everything. Yes. Bring your past up, and you're going to stay in the past. Mm -hmm. Somewhere, I think there's a, uh, one of the slides that says, you know, you don't be a prisoner okay. of your yeah. past. That's it. That's it. It's gone. Hey, Let it go. It. Yeah, you got yeah. great memories. It's okay. That's it. But if you got mm -hmm. the past holding you back, mm -hmm. you, you ain't going anywhere. Yes, You're going to be like uh, that little hamster in a, in a little wheel, you know, mm -hmm. going 100 miles and getting nowhere. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. I like that. Thank you. You can copy this. Yes. It says, press through the past. Press in the present and press for the future. Philippians yes. 3, 12 through 14. That's what we just read. Yes. So we're going to pass through the past, mm -hmm. press in the present, and press for the future. Yes. This is good. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. In Proverbs, we're going to uh, review some of the past that we had. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Here we go. It says, trust in the Lord with some of your heart. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You make sure you're paying attention here now. Mm -hmm. With all your heart and yeah. then not to your own understanding. Uh, a lot of times we want to deal with our own understanding. Mm -hmm. 
and he knows more than we do yes so we have to trust with him yeah. with our whole oh, our whole heart and lean out to the own understanding in all your ways yes. submit to him yes and he will make your path straight yes. says the steps of a righteous person mm -hmm. is ordered of god right. yes amen and he's going to keep you on this straight but yes. you have to follow amen yes. he's the leader and we're following. Yeah. We're right behind him. We're following. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. This is this is this is good. This is good. The New King James says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. In all your ways acknowledge him, he shall direct your path. Your past is dead and gone. Mm -hmm. Sin forgiven, yes. But some of those sins are still being carried around. Enemy comes to still kill and destroy and remind us by using anyone available. And there's a lot of people available out there. You yeah. know what? They see you're doing good. Oh, and they, yeah. want, they want to take you down. Oh, yeah. Amen. You're doing good. Feeling good. All these good things. Mm -hmm. And they see that. And because they don't make the commitments right, and submission, right. they're going to talk about you. Mm. Or they'll come tell you about their friends. But then when they leave you and talk to the other friends, <laughs> they'll talk about you. Yeah. They'll talk about you, too. So, uh -huh. let's remember this. Uh -huh. Still killing the story, he uses anyone available. If yeah. you keep remembering the past, mm -hmm. has not been, if you keep remembering the past, it has not been forgotten. Right. Confess it, forget it, and press on. Amen. That's it. And when it comes up, you just let him know. Mm -hmm. God, Jesus dropped the charges. Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> or Jesus paid the charges. Uh -huh. And Jesus paid for it all. Yes. Every time it pops up, you got the right answer. That's it. You don't have to go back and redo it over and redo it over. No. Hey. Say, hey, I gave it to him. I cast it on him. I gave it to him. I don't have to go through that no more. It's a past thing. It's a done thing. So I don't have to think about that no more. Past is qualified. Past disqualifies. Guilt is awful for me. To serve the Lord. That's what the enemy is trying to keep you from doing. Serving the Lord. Yep. He's called us to serve him. Jesus says, I've come to serve, not to be served. Uh -huh. And he's our greatest example. So yes. we are to serve him. Uh -huh. But people are going to tell you, you're not qualified. Right. You're disqualified mm -hmm. all the time. Jesus says, I have qualified you. Mm -hmm. He's qualified your call. Yeah. So let's remember this so we don't repeat these bad past things Amen. pass it confess it release it forget it renew it press on yeah. Yeah, that's, a, that's a mouthful you need to write those down yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean i was in the spirit and god was giving me these things and i just wrote them down man I <laughs> confess it release it forget it renew it and press on Amen. praise god yeah. and press on if god forgives your past your past is gone why keep remembering your past and let it interfere with your serving the Lord? Yeah. You must forgive yourself and let the past go. Yeah. Yeah. If Jesus paid the price, mm -hmm. why are you still trying to pay the yes, price? Yes. If he if it was good enough, if he did it and it's good enough, then why are you trying to pay? Yes, yeah. Why are you trying to repeat this? It's gone. He says, Give it to me, it's mine, and you I called you to do something. So press on. Yes. That's it. Don't let past sins block your present serving Amen. the Lord. Amen. That's it. You forgive your children and others, okay. and you don't want to uh, continue to worry about them. Don't keep bringing it up. We do the same thing with the Lord. We keep bringing it up. You know, when children come and ask you forgiveness, you forgive them. Yeah. You know, as parents, you love them. Well, we're his, we're his, we're his children. He's our heavenly yes. father. Yes. And we go and confess to him. And he forgives us. He forgives and forgets. Yes. So why are we still remembering? Mm. Let it go. Right. Yeah. It's a thing in the past. Yes. And you're wasting time. You're yes. wasting energy. Yes. <laughs> well, remember this. I gave you this. you got to remember this. Examine yourself and take inventory now and confess all sins and don't let the past wreck your present. That's right. it, amen. <laughs> That's it. Man, Woo. man, praise God. Remember what Peter, Peter did. 
He fell to his lowest in his life when he denied Jesus three times. And we have done this. We've denied him over and over and over. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. He was showing us and giving us an example. Yeah. He says, you're going to do this. Yeah. Peter did it, but Jesus didn't disqualify him. That's right. Like people say, God does. You ain't good enough. You know, you got to be perfect. No. I don't think so. No. Nope. He, he chose a little shepherd boy to be king of Israel. Mm -hmm. And he has some faults. Jesus denied Jesus three times. But who was it that preached at Pentecost? Yeah. And thousands come to the Lord. Yeah. Jesus chose him. Yes. And he's choosing you. Yes. You fail, you fall, you have problems, you have things coming against you. Mm. People hate you, people don't care for you, people have disqualified you. Mm. But God said He says, I qualified you. Yeah. Now I want you to go. And you're gonna win people. To God, you don't have to win thousands, but you can win somebody yes. for Him. You share with Him. You know, yes. you're living proof. You have a living testimony. Yes. And people are saying, "Man, if Jesus can save him, if yes. Jesus can save her, He can save me." Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Amen. You're right. Amen. Some of us have not gone through whatever you went through. Yeah. But we have a testimony, and we've been tested. Yeah. But you know what? We have the greater one now. Yes. Amen. Greater and you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. So Amen. don't let the past. Don't be a prisoner of your past. That's it. Don't give up. God's not finished with you. Yeah. That's right. As that's long that's as you're that's here, that's why live in misery? That's it. We're going to be talking about joy next week. <laughs> and the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. Amen. So be joyful. This is the day the Lord has given you. Yes. It says rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Yeah, but you don't know what problems I have. Mm -hmm. Well, why do you have them? Why have you not cast them on, on him? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because that's what the word of God says. Yes. Give it to him. Yeah, we got ourselves into that. Now give it to him. Yes. Confess it and quit by letting the enemy or anyone come and yes. hold that against you. That's it. And then man, I'm stuck. No, you're not stuck. You just gotta Get it out. Confess yeah. it. Cast it out. Amen. Give it to yes. him. Amen. Ooh, Man, yeah. no preaching. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going in number two. Here's about the future. We're going to talk about the future before we talk about the present. Mm -hmm. So into your future. Leave your future entirely in God's hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something God will take advantage of them. There's no trust. You know, well, if I give him control, if I give him my future, mm -hmm. you know, I can't trust that. Well, you gotta have trust. You gotta what well, when you surrender, when you submit, when you commit, you're giving total trust to him. Yeah. Right. You're giving total control to him. Some think it's a miserable life if they're not in control. Uh -huh. I mean, we've all been there. Come on. Uh -huh. Don't trust God to bring them joy. Don't trust God for happiness, pleasures. They want to do their own thing. Amen. They want to do their own thing until it's too late. Well, you know, one of these days I'll turn myself over to God and, and He can help me. Hmm. Well, tomorrow's not guaranteed. Yes, Your future's yes, not guaranteed. Yes, mm -hmm. Amen. You got enough problems right now. No more. Lord, I need you right now. I need you more than yesterday. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Nehemiah 8 and 10, uh, the part B there of the, uh, the message there says, For the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yeah. You know what joy stands for? Joy stands for this. Jesus owns you. <laughs> Jesus owns you. He paid for you. Yeah. Yeah. He paid a debt he didn't know. And we have we owe a debt we cannot pay. That's it. But he owns you. Whether you believe it or not, whether you've confessed him or not, it's uh -huh. time you realize he owns me. So I I gotta give myself to him. So that he can tell me what to do. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Psalms 118, 24. We just went through there. It says, this is the day the Lord has made. We, I, Jose, will rejoice and be glad in you. Yeah. You know, we always try to put in, well, you know, you don't know what I'm facing. Yeah. Well, why are you facing it by yourself? Mm -hmm. Why haven't you given it over to him? That's yeah. James 1 and 2 says, mm -hmm. my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into divers. Temptations. Yes. Count it all joy. No. 
We don't want to leave the word of control. We still want to mm. control. You know what happens when you have control? Mm. You're worrying. Mm -hmm. And you have anxiety. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. You want to yeah. you want to keep this. The expanded Bible says this, my brothers and sisters, fellow believers. Mm. He's talking to believers, okay? Yeah. He says, when you have many kinds of troubles, trials, testings, you should be full of joy. Yeah. It says, consider it all pure joy. Amen. Isn't that amazing? That's a great translation. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I've given it to the Lord. I'm going to be happy about it. Yeah. yeah. He's going to fix it. His timing. Yeah. Don't put him on limits, you know, and say, well, I'm going to give you one day. And if yeah. it's not gone in one day, if it's not gone in a few hours, it, you know, I'm taking back control. <laughs> we might as well not even give it up. Mm -mm -mm. There's no, lim no limits. No limits. 1 Thessalonians uh, 5, 16, King James says, rejoice in always. We're going to be talking about joy next week. Mm. <laughs> 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, and the easy to revert, it says, always, always. Be full of, of joy. <laughs> yeah. Christians, believers, should be the happiest people around. Yeah. We have a living Savior. <laughs> and He's called us home. He's yes. calling us up to heaven. And we can do all things through Him. Mm -hmm. We should be the joy, most happiest, Happy joyful Lord. people in the world. Amen. Yeah, brother, but let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of those. Yeah, oh, but. Yes. <laughs> Here's another one, Galatians 5, 5 23, uh, excuse me, 22 and 23. says, but the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love. Second one is joy. Joy, <laughs> joy peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, uh, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against, against such there is no, no law. law. Amen. Let me see what you got, Carter. There you go. Never be a prisoner of your mm -hmm. past. Mm -hmm. It was just a lesson, not a life sentence. That's Some it. of us are in the life sentence thing, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> the people and the enemy is making sure that you understand that this is for life. Mm -hmm. And God has nothing to do with you. It's false. No scripture for that. Keep going. Mm. There you go. When people bring up your past, tell them Jesus dropped the charges. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Write that down and, and put it somewhere where you can see this, you know? Because every time you think it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or take a picture of it, fast. <laughs> yeah. He's going to use people to bring this up to you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus dropped the charges. And let him know. You know, yeah. pretty soon, you're not going to hear those things no more. Amen. <laughs> Amen. One more. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. There we go. If you're depressed, you're living in the past. No. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. Anxious, you know. Oh, man, the future. What's the future bringing? If you're not at peace, you are living in the present. We're going to get there in a few minutes. You are at peace. Yes, yes, yes. You are at peace. I think I shared this with you, but a missionary was called back because he was unhappy. But he was devoted. But he was unhappy. Hmm. Yes, but he was afraid and he was unwilling to trust the future to God. Hmm. If you're gonna follow his if yes. you're gonna follow his call, uh -huh. you don't have to be afraid. That's it. That's and you don't have to be unhappy. Yes, right. Amen. We can be happy, yes. joyful. We use it we use all these scriptures a few mm -hmm. minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm -hmm. uh, rejoice, be glad for this new day. Mm -hmm. Amen. Count it all joy. Yes. And be full of joy. Yes. Consider it all pure joy. Yes. Why? Because the greater one is with me. Mm -hmm. The greater Amen. one is in me. Amen. Yes. <laughs> so praise God. That's your, your present. I mean your future. We're going into the present now. Okay. <laughs> praise God. Okay. What happens to the present when total surrender is made? Mm. All unlovable bitterness, irritable, pride, jealousies, resentments disappear they all yeah. have to go because you gotta let them go you know they got handles let them go <laughs> they're holding yeah. on to them <laughs> confess uh, them he says cast it on me you know when you cast you just don't release cast yeah. means you throw it yes you know you throw it and say give it to me cast it on him yeah and <laughs> listen it listen it is it's easy said one lady i've done it 
The next day, the same lady was limping. She says, what happened to you? Well, she crossed the street to keep from talking to, uh, speaking to Miss So-and-so, Miss Busybody, Miss Mouth of the South. So she stepped off the curve to get away from her, and she twisted her ankle. <laughs> she had not fully surrendered her present. Has she fully surrendered? No. No. Because she's still holding on to something. Mm -hmm. She saw Miss So and So, and she just said, "I'm going to the other side." We've all been there, you know. <laughs> we at the grocery store. You see somebody coming down your aisle, man. I'm going down the other way. You might, you might, you, you might uh, twist your hip off off socket or something, you know. <laughs> you might do something just trying to get away from this person. And you're Mr. Yeah. Christian. You're Mr. Believer. <laughs> <laughs> and we're trying to run from no, brother so and so or sister so and so. Mm, come oh, on, man. <laughs> if there's any ill wills, mm. any resentments, any grudges in your life, it means you have not totally surrendered. Yes, yeah. You know, yeah. hey, listen, I'm sorry. I, I forgive me. <laughs> I'm I'm asking for your forgiveness. I'm confessing. I'm. Mm asking all these things please forgive me mm -hmm. i'm getting it off of me I'm, I'm putting it on you it's up to you do you want to forgive me mm -hmm. if you do great mm -hmm. if you don't you've got a problem yeah yes yeah. you have not surrendered that's it you're still holding on to this mm -hmm. that's okay you know uh, i'm going to pray for this person i'm going to pray for, yeah. for her i'm going to pray for him yeah. Because I released it. I want it off of me. Right. If yeah. they wanting to hold on to it, mm -hmm. that's up to them. Yeah. But I'm gonna pray for them because that's not a good a right thing. A good thing. You know, they're still holding on to the wrong mm -hmm. things. They should have given it up to him. Yes. And God wants us to have a relationship, <laughs> but we're not having relationship that way. Mm -hmm. Because the enemy is busy. Yes. Steal, yes. kill, destroy. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. You say you surrender to all to God, yet you have fear of the future, uncertain of it. Then you have not yet totally surrendered. No person has ever received all she or he could have from God because God can give all until we have surrendered all. Amen. He wants right. to bless you more and more, but we're still holding on. And he's not able to give us everything because we're still holding on. Just release it all, give it all. Amen. So the time to surrender, the time to surrender all is now, today, this day. Amen. Don't wait any longer. No more delays. No more excuses. Amen. We're the most. I don't know how I want to say this. We have too many excuses. <laughs> Too many excuses. The time is now. Don't wait. Don't no delays. No excuses. Surrender your past. Surrender your present. Surrender your future to God now. Yeah. Just give it to Him. Says Lord, I'm stepping down so you can step up. Yeah. Yeah. You know what He says? He says it's about time. Yeah. <laughs> it's about time. It's only been like what 50, 60 years. <laughs> We let opportunities slip by because our minds are fixed on our past, our future, and our present. Not anymore. Take one day, take one day at a time. How can God use me today? For the present, right now. How does one surrender all? Just let give it all. Let go and let God. Walk away from it. Trust God. And He'll do the rest. I don't know how he does this. He does this. He can do all things. Yes. And I can do all things through him. And I just need to give it up. Give up that surrender, that control. Trust in him. And do it one day at a time. And in closing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, you, so you, <laughs> we surrender it all to God. Letting go and letting God. Dethroning yourself. And throning him. Lord. You are my Lord and Savior. Amen. Surrendering all to God is best for you. We defeated ourselves 
when we try to do it all on our own. We must learn that His way is the best way and the right way. Amen. Surrender yourself over to God and trust Him to do His part. In other words, have faith that He's going to do His part. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Surrendering and trusting Him brings victory, brings joy, brings happiness. Amen. All these things come. Surrendering. Surrender your all to Him today. Jesus surrendered and paid it all at the cross. Yes, did, so surrender your past, surrender your future, and surrender your present daily in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Did you get something? Yes, sir. Amen. <laughs> I did. So, Father, we just thank you for your precious word. Amen. Help us, Lord, to grow and release ourselves to you, Father God. Amen. Some of you are watching, you know, you still have an opportunity. This is your day. Amen. This is your day. If you've never confessed to me, you know what I'm saying? And now's the time. Amen. All you have to do is just say, you know, I've done it all my way. I want to release it all to you. I want to surrender myself to you right now this day. And I want to confess you. I've sinned against you. I've repented. I want to confess you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Yes. You know what? He's going to come and he's going to be your Lord and Savior. And you did it. Get off the throne. Let him get on the throne and start living for him. Yes. Start Amen. studying to show yourself to prove unto God. Amen. Go to a place. Go to a church where they preach from. Yes. Teach from the word of God. Amen. Not from whatever. And start growing, start growing, and, and then and start maturing in the things of God. Amen. So yes. praise God. And if you have any sickness in your body, I just want to pray for you. The Bible says, by Jesus Christ, you are healed. Yeah. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Whatever is ailing you, whatever is hurting you, we just call it will. We call it healed. No malfunctions in this body. No My body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. So the spirit of infirmity, we just cast you out. We command you to go right. in Jesus' name. And we just thank you that we are well, we are healed in Jesus' yes. name. So time to give. Those of you that yes. watch and listening, we'd like to give. Lord. Your tithe, your offerings, you still can. Just go to our website. It's on the screen. NBCBigBen.com. Don't hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Market, Texas, 79843. And now you can give by a cash app at New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God loves you and we love you. Amen. Have a blessed week. Amen.